Find the ones that will, Ivana. So Mandy says, Matt, guy I'm dating consistently initiated and planned dates for two months. I initiated 20%. Two weeks ago, he became cold, disappeared for two days, and now came back. It, you know, that's, that's really interesting. You're like, he disappeared for two days. Now texting once a day and leaves me on red. So anything I can do to get him to ask me out again, should I still reply to his text? So first off, I, there's a lot going on here, Mandy. First off is the two days thing, right? He went cold for two days. Like, mm, you guys have been seeing, you know, he's been initiating consistently. So he's been contacting you every single day for two months. Like that's a lot of investment, right? That's a lot of connection. That's a lot of contact. For most people, that's not even normal. And I mean, obviously it's good that he's doing that. And what you want to do is mirror what he's doing. Like, like what we just talked about. You want to mirror what he's doing. So, I mean, if, if he goes, if he doesn't contact you for two days, you don't want to you know, not ignore his text for two days, but just lean back, right? Let him not contact you for a couple days. Sometimes guys do that. Sometimes there's things that happen in people's lives that make other things a priority that start taking up all their time, right? Start taking up all their energy and they have to kind of switch over and go, okay, I'm going to do this for a little bit. And just think of it like you're, you're connecting with a cat. Or something, right? The cat comes over and you're petting it and it's fun. And you're like, um, the cat's like, and you know, and you're rubbing its head and stuff, and the cat's having a good time. But then the cat runs off, right? You don't see it for a couple days. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go searching for the cat? You'll probably, you might find it, and it's possible you could get it back. But usually, what will happen is if you start chasing after the cat, the cat's just gonna run off, right? And so, what you want to do is wait for the cat to come back to you, because the cat will come back to you if it really likes you and you know thinks that you're an amazing owner and loves your pettings and just thinks that you're absolutely wonderful and so but you want to wait until it comes back and then when it's back you pet it right and so you want to lean back and let him do the initiating let him do all these things if he's you know if uh, like you're saying now texting once a day and leaves me on red like, what does that mean exactly? Are you texting him once a day and he's not responding? Or are you texting each other once a day and he's not responding back to your text message? What kind of text messages are you leaving him? Are you asking him questions? Are you, one of the things that I talk about in my texting program is this idea of text messages that deserve a response. And you have to look at whether your text message actually deserves a response or not. Because if it doesn't deserve a response, there's a very good chance that it's not going to be responded to. Because guys are a little bit different than a lot of women are. So some, some guys, some, you know, it depends. Guys are all different. But a lot of guys are out there and they just, you know, they function a different way. And so you want to make sure that if you want a response back that you have some kind of a message that looks like there should be a response back to it, right? If you're like, hi, and he's like, hi, or he's like, hi, and you're like, hi, and then all of a sudden there's no more messages, you know, he might be like, oh, well, she's not really investing, and I'm not really investing, and nobody's really investing. And so you want you want to think about that a little bit more. Um, I hope that should you so anything I can do to get him to ask me out? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on what your conversations are, right? Like I said before, there's the cliffhanger thing. That's one of the best things that you can possibly do is the cliffhanger thing around getting asked out again. 